Change it up to a uh, Georgia Southern the game hat. Um, you know, the, there's all kind of different kind of Georgia Southern merchandise out there, so we won't really really expect it. Like for example, I have a plush Gus over there somewhere uh, from a bookstore from like 1999. That's very hard to find. Um, and of course, you can find like inflatables, and blah blah blah. We're not we're not here to talk about that. Um, we are here to talk about one of the biggest games in Georgia Southern history at well one of the biggest games at this well can we replace that maybe not the biggest game but the biggest win in Georgia Southern football history um, I don't know when this was going to be out but if you're watching it before we talked about the Hugo Bowl if you're watching it after and then we still talk about the Hugo Bowl, but I don't know which one is um, the right, which one is the right uh, order they're in. But 2013, November 23rd, Georgia Southern upsets Florida to get their biggest win in school history. This was one of the biggest, this is the biggest win in Georgia Southern's history in my opinion. You could go all the other games we've won, all the national titles, um, games against Furman, the Camellia Bowl, um, the New Orleans Bowl was a pretty big deal. We're going to talk about that too, um, not, not in this video. And then you can look at any other game. I, I don't care what it is, but this game, Georgia Southern versus Florida, is probably the biggest game in Georgia Southern's history the biggest win in history. And here's a look, you know, it kind of had nothing to do with Georgia Southern. Remember, we were moving up. We, they announced we were moving to the Sun Belt, like, before the season started or something. So, but what I was trying to say was that wasn't necessarily the game that put Georgia Southern in the FBS, but it made Georgia Southern known. We were like, hey, we're here. Um, two years before, we played Alabama, which that was the legend. That was the game, um, Something legendary happened. Uh, post game rant Nick Saban had about they ran through us like mass for a tin horn and something. Like, still something like that. But hey, Georgia Southern ran the ball in Florida. And it, look, we could talk about all the games Georgia Southern should have won as a um, underdog. Minnesota a couple years ago. I mean, that's one of the most heartbreaking games I remember watching. Um, 2015 Georgia, we had the dogs. We led the dogs for a long time in that game, then we lost in overtime. Um, that's how it goes, though. That's the game of football. If you remember in those games, Georgia Southern made mistakes. Um, in, Georgia, in the Georgia game, we muffed a punt, and then we went for it on fourth down and didn't get it. Uh, I always like to go back. I, I tell people all the time, even if Georgia Southern would have kicked a field goal, if Sonny Michelle, if Sonny Michelle still runs up the middle of the of the uh, feel like he did and score a touchdown, that don't matter, game over. But, um, but yeah, this Georgia Southern versus Florida game is one of the best, probably the biggest win of all time. I have to score in summary right here. Florida scored the first two points of the game. Or did they? Or right, field goal and then a touchdown pass. So, yeah, so they scored a, so they were up 10 nothing at one point. Kevin Allison gets a 45 yard run. Kevin House and then gets a one yard run. William Banks will get a three yard run. Uh, Florida will hit a field goal in the fourth quarter. Solomon, uh, Solomon Patton would throw to, to Scholar Morningway for a 46 yard touchdown. And then Jared McKinnon scores the last touchdown of the game. I mean, dude, this is. And here's, the, here's another fun stat about this game <laughs> Georgia Southern. We beat Florida without even throwing the ball. I mean, we ran the whole game. We might have took like one or two throwing attempts, but Georgia Southern, we beat them. We literally ran down the field on them. I have never seen nothing like that in my life. Um, 
you, you need to throw the ball, and I guess this year's summer team is going to prove that. But we went to Gainesville. We were just, hey, we'll, we'll throw you in to A back, to B back, and we'll just run, we'll just run all over you. Um, to this day, this game still feels unbelievable like it didn't happen because uh, it was just a it was just a a whole bunch of shock coming in like you know, like we knew we could do it um, it was nothing that Georgia Simon thought they couldn't do as I said they played very good versus Alabama um, in 2011 they played good versus North Carolina in 2010 but what I'm trying to say is that all right, all those teams are great teams, but then especially Alabama. Um, but when you stay, when you keep the underdog in the game for a long time, that's more time they could pull an upset. I think Nebraska will figure that out this year. I think that Georgia Southern is going to beat Nebraska. Um, We'll talk about we'll talk about that more when football season comes. But I do think Georgia Southern will beat Nebraska. But we'll talk about that later. Um, hey, look, it's one of the, it is the biggest win in school history. Um, you know, Florida had their chances to win. Uh, 2013 was not really a good year for Florida, and that kind of proves it right there that they lost to Georgia Southern. But uh, I believe Georgia beat Florida that year too. So yeah, Florida had really nothing going there. I even think Vanderbilt beat Florida in 2013, so they had like nothing going that year. I think that was Will Muschamp's second or third year at Florida. It might have even been his first. Um, but yeah, Georgia Southern, uh, they came, we, we went to Gainesville. We weren't uh, scared of Florida. That's the legendary game with that legendary photo. That's the game where that photo of those Florida players blocking each other. I'm super sad. Like, what? Like, what is that? There's no way I'm looking at that. But Georgia Southern was not scared of Florida. They came into that game. They run the ball up their throat. And we came out on top. So here's highlights for Chris Blair and Terry Harvin. Um, color guy. Uh, who's the uh, sideline reporter? He used to be the baseball announcer. I think it's worth it. Ryan Clinton something? Frank was the Frank Schakowsky was the pre-game host. I think it was Ryan Clinton. Hold on, I saw a photo of him on my phone. If you can see that. That's him. So Chris Blair, Terry Harmon. And Bam will be the, um, you will hear highlights with you. Let's go, Eagles. 9.35 to go. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Taylor taking the ball to the left now, cutting back to the right. He'll be dropped at the 10 yard line by Kyle Olback. Cut to the left, nowhere to go, did not have blockers in front of him. Faded it back to the right, and Kyle Olback brings him down at the knees. It'll be second down goal to go from the 10. Get good speed. Josh Rowe checking out of the ball game, bringing in Darius Jones, the freshman out of Woodruff, South Carolina. Josh Rowe, one of the seniors today. Special day for him. 9.02, first quarter action. Second down, goal to goal from the 10. Morning Wegg will step into a gun. One receiver short side, trip receivers left side. Morning Wegg on the shotgun snap. Looks to throw, right side of the end zone. Nearly picked off, couldn't hold on. Darius Safford stepped in front of the receiver. It's incomplete, sets up third down and goal from the 10. They were looking for Solomon Patton. Great coverage by Safford. Got right inside the receiver. Ball thrown a little low. The only man to make a play would be Safford. And that time, Patton had to become a defender. Mugged him at the top. But it's incomplete. Sets up third down and goal to go from the 10. Safford, you mentioned, was in great position. He's got to go up like a basketball rebounder and just muscle that thing down and not give him the opportunity to take it out of his hands. Great position. Poorly thrown ball, but great position. This time on third down, goal to go from the 10. They'll have trip receivers lined up to the left. Here's the shotgun snap. Morning Wegg looking left. Gets out of pressure. Stretching. Throws across the middle, broken up and incomplete. Left corner of the end zone. 
Again, the Eagles in great coverage. Valdon Cooper swats it away. Nearly a chance for another interception, but it sets up fourth down. Goal to go from the 10, and they will bring on Francisco Velez, the junior place kicker out of nearby Ocala. 107 to go. Third down, seven at the 17-yard line of the Eagles. Morning wag, quick toss coming right side. Mac Brown, he's going to be dropped at about the 17, maybe the 18-yard line. Kyle Olbeck, great open field tackle. Eagles in the vicinity and nowhere to go for Mac Brown. He is dropped down, and that will set up yet another opportunity on fourth and seven at the 17-yard line. They'll send on Francisco Velez, who hit a field goal on the last drive. This time. Looking at a 34-yarder near side hash. Kicking left to right. Here's the snap. Places down. Blocked! Georgia Southern blocks it. Ball high into the air and will be downed. Georgia Southern picks it up. Coming around the right side up across the 15-yard line. Thank goodness Valdon Cooper got his hands on it to block the field goal attempt. And the Eagles able to secure the rock. And the field goal block no good. Score remains 3 to nothing with 18 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Coming in from the outside, great pressure there. He was able to lay out. Very good job by Valdon, Valdon Cooper. He just got his hands out there. Knocks the ball up in the air. Ryan, let's overstate the obvious here. Against the SEC Florida Gators, they've got players, they've got depth. If you're Georgia Southern, you get these opportunities, especially in the first half when you're firing on all cylinders, you have to hit Pater. If you were to show me just the game plays and stats and all the mistakes and be down three at the half, I wouldn't believe you. Georgia Southern's got to think it's a victory if they can get points on the board. First down, 10 at the Gator, 45. Ellison will pull, come around the right edge. Inside the 40, the 30 to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Six on it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. 45-yard touchdown run for the redshirt freshman, Kevin Ellison. And the Eagles are on the board. It's 10-6 with 2.01 remaining in the first half. Wow. Setting up up the middle, Ryan. You talked about it with the success of the offensive line in that dime. William Banks getting back in the ball game. They fake the handoff. Ellison keeps it, doesn't give it to McKinnon, and he takes off, and it's off to the races. Races it out. Spread that defense thin, Terry, and you're seeing a quarterback, a young one that's starting to grow up. He's got a lot of reps under his belt, and he looks comfortable today. The Gators bit on the dive to Banks. As young Wei Kuan for the point after, it's good. It's a 10-7 ball game with 2-0-1 remaining here in the first half of action. Kevin Ellison, his seventh rushing touchdown on the season. And boy, did the Gators bite on the dive. You can watch the replay, see William Banks, a great fake by Ellison, put it deep in the belly, pulled on the mesh, came around the right edge, and he was off to the races. Dorian Bird, the senior tackle out of West Side in Macon, your right tackle. He comes and pulls, sets a seal block on the safety that springs Ellison, and there's nobody that's going to catch him. 2-0-1 remaining here in the first half. It's a 10-7 ball game, and defensively, as I mentioned just a few moments ago, Georgia Southern doing everything. Great game plan called by Coach Curtis and Coach Corliss up to this point, and credit the young men in blue and white giving their all out here, and now Coach Muschamp has to look up at that scoreboard with 2-0-1 to play, and they've been fairly conservative in today's game offensively, something Ryan touched on earlier. We'll wait and see. Plenty of time left on the clock. You hate to go in at halftime here at the Swamp if you're Coach Muschamp, even with that vote of confidence a couple of weeks ago, only up 10-7 over Georgia Southern. Vanilla so far for the Gators. A couple of opportunities going by the wayside to get points, including a blocked field goal. 15 minutes up on the board. First down and 10 at the 25-yard line as Kevin Ellison will take the snap. He'll pull from Banks, give to McKinnon, 30, 35, 40, cuts far side, 50, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, middle of the field, McKinnon brought down at the Florida nine-yard line. Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles, opening play of the third quarter, and Jarrett McKinnon, 75% on that ankle, just 10 yards shy of in for the score. First down, goal to goal at the nine. 
Again, Jarek McKinnon, we've talked about his ankle. Ryan said it best. A 75% Jarek McKinnon is still f faster than most of the players on the team. And right there, he showed it with a nice stiff arm to show how much how his strength as well. Eagles, one of two on fourth down efficiency today. The gift to Ellison, trying to go straight up. Put an Eagle six on it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Ellison able to leap over the top of the Gator defense. And the Eagles have the lead in Gainesville, 13 to 10. Ellison with his second touchdown of the game. Kevin Ellison, his eighth rushing touchdown of the season. He did it. A quarterback sneak just like he did last time over the left side. This time, though, he jumps high and just leaves with the football and gets it over the line. Exactly what he needed to do. Dangerous, yes, but it was a touchdown. 13-10, to 10, Georgia Southern leads over Florida. Gungway Kuan for the point after. Matt Dobson to hold. Here's the snap set. Kick on its way. Kick is up. And kick is good. Georgia Southern leads 14 to 10 over Florida. We'll return to the swamp in Gainesville in just a moment. From Nelligan Sports, this is Georgia Southern football. It will be J Mac joining the huddle. Gets a high five from William Banks wow. and gets a high five from the rest of his offensive line. Second down goal to go. The market just outside the Florida three. 41 seconds remain in the third quarter. Ellison under center. Motions. McKinnon give to Banks. Banks off the right edge. Into the end zone. Put an eagle six on it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. It's 20 to 10 with 32 seconds remaining here in the third quarter of action at the Swamp in Gainesville. Another senior. Banks right up the gut. Great blocking, good lead block. Tackle does a good job. Man Ray does a good job. Blows out the Florida defense, and we get in. Wow. 32 seconds remain in the third quarter. Young Way Kuan for the point after to make it an 11-point Georgia Southern lead. Snap, set, kick is down, kick is up, and kick is no good. Ooh. Hit the goal post. Score remains 20 to 10 as Young Way Ku just nailed the upright. It doesn't fall through, and the score remains 20 to 10. Georgia Southern with the lead. 32 seconds remain here in the third quarter. We'll take a timeout, return to the swamp in just a moment. Eagles lead over the Gators 20 to 10 from Nelligan Sports. This is Georgia Southern football. William Banks has been the go to back here in the second half. He's got 41 yards on 10 carries. Here it comes, third down and two at the 33. Near side hash. Snap to Ellison. Give to Banks. He's open up across the 35 to 40. He's across midfield 40, 35, 30 down the near side hash. Carried down to the Florida 14 yard line. Franklin first down for the Georgia Southern Eagles. Vernon Hargreaves had to save the score for the Florida Gator defense, and the air just got sucked out of the swamp here at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. Oh my! Florida Field just got quiet. Wow, way to go, Banks. The defense has stopped people up the middle. Banks a little five foot ten, if he's lucky. Scampers up there, cuts back Ryan. Great blocking, and he's off to the races. And did you see two hands, two arms? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, they were going for the strip, and we've seen it a couple times in old tough Willie Banks putting two on the two on the ball. That could be the biggest run of his entire career in Georgia Nice Southern. cross buck right to left to get the open lane. First down 10 at the Gator 14-yard line. The Eagles once again in the Gator clubhouse red zone as the give off to go van off the right side. Got back maybe. So about the line of scrimmage, no gain on the play. It'll be second down and 10 at the 14. Clock down to three minutes, 34 seconds remaining. And Florida fans mostly on their seat. Those that are standing up have their fingers and fingernails in their mouth. Georgia Southern, as Terry mentioned earlier, Eagle Nation across the way. They've been on their feet all afternoon long. Play clock down to 15 as late substitutions come in. Allen Lee checks out. Contrellis showers back in as a wideout. Second down, 10 at the Gator 14-yard line. Go Van, your B-back. McKinnon and Bryant, your slot back. Ball middle of the field. Here's the snap. Quick toss, McKinnon right side. Great block, gets him to the 10, to the 5. Put an eagle six on it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Flags down in the end zone. Maybe celebration as there's more oh. flags. But right now, the scoreboard says 26-20, Georgia Southern. Jarrett McKinnon, his first rushing touchdown of the season. His 12th, or rather, first of the day, his 12th of the season. And Young Way Koo and company on the field for a point after. I don't know what these flags were on. They were thrown late in the end zone. 
Great blocking by his own Gator player against each other. It's going to be, oh, Jarek McKinnon right at the end. He gave, <laughs> he gave the Babe Ruth home run swing. <laughs> he did, folks. When he crossed eight yards deep in the end zone, he did swing and hit a home run. Third and two at the 16. 14 seconds to play. Snap to Morningway. Going for the touchdown. It's incomplete. Back right corner of the end zone. No flags. It will be fourth and two. They were looking for Dunbar. Matt Dobson comes over from the safety position. Great speed by Dobson to get there in time to break up the pass. There's eight seconds remaining here. They were looking for Dunbar, who really has rose to the occasion here in the second half. And a collision right at the point of contact for Dobson on Dunbar. He lofted that ball too high, gave Dobson the time to come over. Dobson came over, former quarterback himself, playing center field, went over and knocked it out. Here it is, guys. Barring a penalty, a penalty that is eight seconds remain. Fourth down and two at the 16-yard line. Snap to morning wing. Looking right, moving, looking, throwing, catch is made, and it's over and complete. Georgia Southern will win this one. The Eagles drain the swamp. Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year, Eagle Nation. Remember this day, November 23rd, 2013. Georgia Southern just beat Florida 26-20. Hey, now.